Hey folks, today we're going to get set up uh, creating a personal portfolio. And the first thing to do is to make sure that you are logged in correctly. So if you're in your browser, what I'd like you to do is to simply type in gmail.com and see if you're logged in with your BCPS email. You can see I'm not logged in, but I do have the option to select my uh, BCPS email. Um, if you don't see this here, you can just click use another account and simply type in your BCPS username at bcps.org, click next, and then put in your BCPS password. I'm going to select mine and log in. And you can see here I have nothing in this account, but this is in fact my BCPS Gmail. Next thing you're going to do is to click into the URL bar and type in sites.google.com backslash new. There is also a link in the lesson. So I'll click this and you can see this brings up a page. Uh, I can either create a blank website um, or a series of uh, templates appear as well. We're going to use the portfolio template, which gives us a couple of things already set up. So I'll click that. This will launch uh, a kind of a template with a lot of sort of generic information, which we're going to change to make it more personal. The first thing I'm going to do is give it a name. Um, here it says portfolio. What I'd like to do here is label this my personal portfolio. Oops, spell that correctly. My personal portfolio website. And I'll hit enter. The reason I'm going to label this is that if I were to go to Google Drive, and again, I would recommend doing this in a separate tab, you can simply type in drive.google.com. Um, what I'll see here is that my new website is in fact now found uh, in my drive. And you can see here my personal website um, is now listed under my drive files. Keep in mind, this is your drive associated with your school BCPS Gmail, not your personal Gmail. All right, so that's just where you would find it. The other thing I would recommend doing right now is to bookmark this. So there is a small star. I'm going to click that. And again, I'll call this personal website. And uh, make sure this says bookmarks bar and click done. Um, I now have a permanent link to my website, um, which I can go back to as I continue to add and edit this. To continue, I'm going to change a bunch of the basic information here. We can see there's some generic text, generic image, um, and you can see also there are, in fact, two sub pages. This is the home page. We also have an about and a project page, which we'll get to in a little bit. First thing I'm going to do here is just simply type in my full name. And then I'm going to uh, replace this here with a title for the page. The next step is to swap out this image for either, <clears throat> excuse me, a photo of yourself or a piece of artwork. Um, to do that, uh, all I need to do is click on the three little circles that appear if I select the photo. And this will bring up um, a couple of options for replacing your image. Uh, upload would mean selecting a file that is on your hard drive, on your school device. Um, and I'll show you what that would look like. I'll select upload. This brings up your, uh, your finder window and you have access to all of the files on your hard drive. The other option is to select image, and this will bring up other options. Now, depending on whether you have any images in your Google Drive, um, this might be an option for you, but likely you won't have any. Um, so we are gonna be using the upload. Once I select upload, you can see I can navigate to an image to place next to my page title. So I can uh, navigate to a folder with artwork. Um, if you have uh, video clips, that would be something you would want to save for another part of the site. So I'll select an image and click open, and you can see it replaces it. I'm going to make a couple of adjustments to the way the page looks here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is take my uh, title, and I'm going to grab the little bar at the top here and move it so it's now above my photo. And I can just drag this also into the center. Um, if I want that bar to be a little bit bigger, I can just grab these edges. This works very similarly to um, PowerPoint. 
and I'll move this over a little bit as well. So that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to do a couple of things now on this page before I move into my about and project pages. One thing I can do is play around with the look of the page a little bit. You can see on the right side we have an option, which uh, a tab called Themes here. Um, the default is called Simple. Um, I'm going to scroll down here and click on Level, and you can see that a couple things have changed: the background color um, and uh, various other you know font changes. Um, you'll notice also there's a couple of check boxes here below, um, and as I cycle through these, you can see um, a couple of things change uh, about the basic design. Um, I can also select um, font. Uh, to some extent here, although it's it's somewhat limited um, in terms of the number of things you can adjust here. Um, this is looking pretty good though. If I select the title bar here, let me stretch this back out again. A uh, couple things I can also do inside this bar are change uh, the look of that title. Um, you really only get sort of four sizes here, but uh, I'm going to stick with title for this section here. I can make it bold as well, but you can now see that it now no longer fits. So perhaps I'll keep it unbolded. If we scroll further down the page here, um, what you can see is that there are uh, a couple of different places to insert media, um, given that this is a template. In fact, what we're going to do is get rid of these sections um, and add in our own. And so you can see if I uh, click on the delete section here, um, that first set of uh, places to input media will disappear and I'll do it a second time. Um, what I'm going to do now is click on the insert link on the right and you can see I can design my page any way that I want. I'm going to select the four side by side images, that's this one here, and you can see that now it gets added. Um, it typically adds it at the bottom and so you can see I've got uh, things like my contact info um, higher up. To move this, I'm just going to grab the bar on the left and slide this so it now sits just below my main image. Um, by clicking the plus, we'll have a similar set of options as we had before. Um, I can upload media from my uh, device. I can select an image uh, from my Google uh, Drive or from Google Image Search. Uh, and our third option, is to select something that exists already in your Drive uh, account. Uh, you can also link YouTube videos if you have videos uh, already uploaded. I'm going to click Upload and start to upload various pieces of art. Now these at this point could be uh, JPEGs or animated GIFs. Um, videos have to be uploaded to YouTube or put into your OneDrive and I'll talk about that at a later point. So I will select a couple of images here. Um, Select one here, and you can see that now loads. I'll click the next plus, and again, upload. And you can see this is going to need some formatting because I did not quite get the whole image. I'll select a few others. And if you decide at any point, let's say you only wanted to do three, um, I could always select this box and get rid of it. In fact, that probably makes sense because what I need to do at this point is to actually expand these um, so that the images uh, sit nicely next to each other. This one here is going to be a little wider. This one here will be a little smaller. Notice it will scale properly. And so given that this is sort of a panoramic shot, this is probably not going to show the entire thing. Um, and these can also have captions added, but that is optional. Um, these sections that were added here, these blanks, basically just create a gap in the website, um, a space, if you will. Um, and so again, I want you to be able to design your page the way that you want. I don't want them all to look exactly the same. Um, so a number of these segments you can get rid of. I would like you to put your contact information here. This is something that pr prospective employers or colleges would be looking for. And so I'll replace this, get in touch at, and I will put in my BCPS email. And here you would put in your BCPS Gmail account. To finish the site, we first want to preview it. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the uh, icon at the top called preview and 
this is interesting because you can actually get a chance to see your website as it would appear on a variety of different devices. You can see at the bottom here we have a phone uh, preview. We can switch to tablet and see how that would look on an iPad or a tablet, and then um, our traditional uh, browser view. Um, once that looks the way that you want, you can click X to go back to your editor. Next thing we're going to do is click on the publish icon. What you'll see here is the uh, way that your website will appear as a URL, sites.google.com backslash cps.org and then your name. Um, this is not actually the name of your website, which was Samuel Tillman's art portfolio. This is just going to be your first and last name. And I will click publish. To share this site with me, uh, what you're going to do is click copy published site link. So I'll click this one time, click copy link, and then you're going to post that into the discussion board. And that's the way that I'll have access to your portfolio. That completes part one of the website uh, development. Next week, we'll be talking about the about and project pages. Feel free to continue to modify the theme look of your site. Um, there are lots of other things that we didn't get into, uh, which can be inserted. Um, image carousels, buttons, and all kinds of other things uh, that you might find interesting. Um, so feel free to just explore these. And there are plenty of other videos on YouTube which get uh, quite a bit further into Google Sites. Uh, but at this point, this is sufficient for the project this week. Once your link has been copied, you can navigate to the discussion board for this week and simply hit Control V to paste the URL of your website to the discussion board. Once that's done, please review the following questions and answer those below. That will be all I'm looking for this week.